Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Chrysler Voyager LX 7-passenger minivan, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're looking for a bargain minivan, but the ancient Dodge Grand Caravan doesn't appeal to your modern sensibility, Chrysler's got you covered with the Voyager. The Voyager joins Chrysler's lineup for 2020, but I hesitate to call it new. This seven-passenger minivan draws its name from a long-dead Plymouth model and everything else from the Pacifica. The 2020 Chrysler Voyager is available in two trim levels, L and LX. Both come standard with a 3.6-liter V6 engine. That engine makes 287 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. A 9-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive is standard. The base model Voyager L has a starting MSRP of $26,985 and comes with essentials such as a rear-view camera, cloth seats, a second row bench seat for seven passenger seating, a folding collapsible third row stow and go bench seat, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a seven inch touchscreen. The next trim level is the LX. The 2020 Chrysler Voyager LX is the top trim level for the Voyager this year. It has a starting price of $29,795, and the LX trim adds more comforts, including softer suspension tuning, a power-adjustable driver's seat, second-row captain's chairs, three-zone climate control, and satellite radio. Several safety features uh, come with the optional safety tech package for both trims, while a roof rack, remote start, heated front seats, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel are options for the LX. Unless you're prepared to go with the barest-boned minivan on the market, I recommend you look at the LX trim. While neither trim provides much in the way of amenities, the LX at least offers a more compliant suspension tune than the L, as well as automatic headlamps, aluminum wheels instead of steel, three-zone manual climate control, and superior exterior lighting. Plus, if you want options such as remote start, heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, satellite radio, and or a built-in DVD player to entertain the kids, the LX is the only way to Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Chrysler Voyager 7 passenger minivan. Now, real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. I, I said it right in the beginning. I said if you don't want to get the old, ancient, outdated Dodge Grand Caravan, blah, 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 then look at this Chrysler Voyager because I think it's better. However, if you really do want to look at that Dodge Grand Caravan, I uh, did a build-in price of the 2019 and the 2018. I have not done a build-in price of the 2020 yet as of this video. Why? Well, because they haven't really they haven't changed it at all. So they haven't even changed the picture on the homepage from 2018 to 2019. So, so yeah, uh, if you want to take a look at the Grand Caravan, I've done build those building prices. I've also done a building price of the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica because really a Voyager basically is a Pacifica. So if you're kind of interested in the Pacifica, I've done a building price of that too. All those videos are down in the description below. Make sure you watch all of those videos after you watch this one. All right, let's take a look at this gallery. After we take a look at this gallery, let's take a look at the exterior colors. And after we take a look at the exterior colors, let's go through all the features for the 2020 Chrysler Voyager 7-passenger minivan. Now, after we do all that, let's check, check the specs for our LX trim level because we're going to build in price a 2020 Chrysler Voyager LX 7-passenger minivan. And then after we do those specs, we'll go ahead and click the build in price button. And we'll go ahead and build in price and option out our Chrysler Voyager and see how much it comes to. Now, we kind of already looked at these uh, a couple of these gallery images uh, in the intro, and, there, and there's not really many. We've got, a, we've got a nice shot of the interior here. Uh, do, I don't even think we can get from slide to slide. Yeah, we got, a, we got like four photos here. They show a shot of the, of the DVD player. You know, they're not, they're not trying very hard. Chrysler uh, is not trying very hard. Uh, and here's a nice side profile shot of the 2020 Voyager. 
uh, seven passenger minivan. So yeah, while it is better than the Grand Caravan, it's just. Okay, so we're gonna build and price a Voyager LX. So let's take a look at the exterior colors for the LX. Uh, this color here that they're showing is called Jazz Blue. They have a velvet red. They have a bright white, a billet silver, a granite crystal, and then they also have black. And check this out. Can we do a virtual? Yeah, we can do a virtual walk around of the 2020 uh, Chrysler Voyager 7 passenger minivan, right? It's not too bad. It, it does look better than the Dodge Grand Caravan. I'll give them that. Uh, and because it has some cues from the Pacifica, which is not bad looking at all. Matter of fact, I just saw a beautiful Pacifica. I was at the, a, a Dodge dealer looking at Challengers. I'll put up that. I'll put the link in the description below. And I, I went into the showroom, had the camera on. There was a beautiful white Pacifica there. So the Pacifica is actually pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, this color though, no, I don't think so. Our color, mm, we probably go with like something boring, like the granite crystal metallic or something. I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're going to learn about the features, and I'm going to be real honest with you. <clears throat> this website's pretty thin. This Chrysler website's pretty thin. They don't have a whole bunch of information on this vehicle, but we're going to go over together everything that they do have. So they're going to tell us about the interior. They say comfortable seating, stylish accents. I Maybe the seating's comfortable. As far as the styling, stylish accents are concerned, I don't know about that. In addition to the questionable stylish interior, other notable interior uh uh, features include available second row storage bins and the third row stow and go seating. So the available second row storage bins, we click this little plus button, uh, what does it tell us? It says with the second row storage bins, you can store your gear and valuables in the in-floor bins for safekeeping. That's actually pretty cool. A lot of people just might not even know about that. That's super cool. I like that. That's very stealthy. I do like that feature. Very nice. And then they've got this uh, third row stow and go. Right. And look how flat the floor is. Boy, if you want a flat floor, this is some flat floor stuff. Uh, simply fold the third row seats right into the floor so you never have to worry about lugging your seats into the garage or storing them. Well, nobody really does that anymore anyway, do they? OK, so that was interior features that we covered it. That's all they had to tell us. Uh, now let's find out about the technology features for the 2020 Chrysler Voyager. First thing they're going to tell us is about the Uconnect. That's Chrysler's infotainment system. It's a 7-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, integrated voice command, Bluetooth streaming audio, and available Sirius XM. Other notable technology features include, yeah, well, they tell us the standard Apple CarPlay and all that. There's an available DVD player. Uh, and there's active noise cancellation. So the Chrysler Voyager comes equipped with standard active noise cancellation tech. Uh, for a peaceful trip uh, or whatever. So it's more quiet in the cabin. That does not mean that if the kids are back there yelling and carrying on that uh, active noise cancellation can settle them down. It cannot. Okay, let's look at safety and security features for the 2020 Chrysler Voyager. Looks like we got the available blind spot monitoring. We have available rear cross path detection. We have available park sense rear park assist with stop. And then you have standard airbags there you go this vehicle the chrysler voyager comes equipped with advanced multi-stage driver and front passenger airbags front passenger side inflatable inflatable knee bolsters front seat mounted side airbags and side curtain airbags for passengers in all three rows all right let's find out about the exterior features for the 2020 chrysler voyager uh, they tell us it has features like 17 inch wheels that and the available stow in place roof rack system uh, style that excites boy they're throwing out words here <laughs> stylish interior style that excites i mean the style is doesn't excite okay it, it's okay i mean it, it's really just a pacifica at the end of the day at any rate let's move on and here they got the available on off automatic quad halogen reflector headlamps those are what you can get into when you get the lx so another reason to get the lx model over the base model l all right, let's talk about performance. Chrysler uses that 3.6 liter uh, Pentastar V6 for everything. And they use it in this car too. They use it in the 2020 Chrysler Voyager. And in this car, 
it makes 200 in this SUV. I'm sorry, in this minivan, it makes 287 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. It's got a nine-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive. And as we can see here, it gets an impressive 28 miles to the gallon on the highway. Okay, let's check the specs for the 2020 Chrysler Voyager LX. The LX specifically, because we're doing a build-in price of the LX. Uh, base price, $29,795, basically thirty dollars Fuel economy for that V6, a little deeper dive on that. 19 city, 28 highway, 23 miles to a gallon mixed driving. You can put regular unleaded gas in this. It has a 19-gallon fuel tank. Uh, here's that 3.6 liter V6. Only comes in front wheel drive. You're not getting any all wheel drive in this bad boy. Uh, basic speak, six speaker sound system, AM FM satellite radio, seven passenger standard seating. Uh, seating. Uh, your interior cargo volume is 140.5 cubic feet. Toy capacity, if you really want to tow something with this, which I probably wouldn't, 3,600 pounds. Here they show us the basic warranty information. 36 months, uh, 36,000 miles, powertrain warranty, da 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 The only other thing I really want to check is, like, the dimensions. What are our dimensions? Like, uh, interior leg room and stuff like that. Okay, sorry. Here, interior cargo volume. I had that wrong. Interior cargo volume is 32.3 cubic feet. And then we've got our other uh, dimensions here that I really want to take a look at. Uh, like front leg room, 41.1. Rear leg room is 39. Third row leg room, 36.5. You know, so we got some some different things here. Uh, what do we have? Front shoulder room is 63.8. It's comfortable. Rear shoulder room is 63. Third row six, uh, shoulder room is 61. I think a Mercedes S-Class is right about 59 or 60 for shoulder room, if I remember correctly. So very comfortable. So we can kind of look over that real at a glance, and right from that, we understand this is a comfortable vehicle for sure. Okay, uh, we've gone through everything that we can about the uh, 2020 Chrysler Voyager. So now the only thing left to do is actually do the build-in price. So we're going to do a build-in price of the LX. It starts at just under $30,000. So let's go ahead and click this build tab. Okay, so here we are on the configurator. Uh, I told you already that we're going to pick that boring color, granite crystal. I mean, I'm not excited about any of these colors. To be honest with you, maybe, you know what, the velvet red isn't the worst color, but I think uh, that the granite is going to wear well on this car. Uh, do I want those little spat splash guards? I do want the splash guards. Do you know what those look like? Let me see if we can click a tab and get a... No, it doesn't really show us a bigger picture. So basically what that does is it just prevents all that stuff from kicking up on the side of the of the vehicle. And that's going to really save your paint. Too bad they don't show a bigger picture of that. So these are the standard wheels, the 17 by 17 by 7 inch aluminum wheels. right? Remember, if you get the base model L, it comes with steel wheels. So it's a really stripped down uh, vehicle, the L. Uh, you get the running boards and splash guards by Mopar. So they can have the whole kit. I don't think you really need running boards with this vehicle because it's just not that tall. It just doesn't look that good. It seems it makes it look bulky to me. Uh, the roof racks and rails, uh, I don't need them, but you might want them. We're going to skip over them, though. Uh, no leather seating available for the $30,000 you're going to spend on this vehicle. Uh, you, we can get the premium cloth bucket seats. We're going to get that in black. Uh, seat inserts, I guess they're, they're black. <laughs> Uh, the Uconnect 4 with the 7-inch display, that comes standard. Uh, and the only option here is, do you want the single overhead DVD system? And, that, and the answer to that is no. Uh, the safety tech package, this is where we're going to get all that blind spot monitor. It's not much, but it's something. So you got to grab the safety tech package. It's just 500 bucks, And you got to grab the cold weather group, heated front seats, leather wrap steering wheel, remote start. You know, that's all cool stuff. The roadside emergency kit, if you think you need it, go for it. Uh, the powertrain thing, uh, there's only one. So what are we looking at here? There it is. All right. Do we need the engine block heater? Nope. Do we need the protective clear film, uh, to protect the body? Uh, no. All right. Let's move to the summary then. Here it is. We're just under, we're just over 31,005. All right. $31,530 to totally, completely, fully load a 2020, uh, Chrysler Voyager 7-passenger minivan. We did the LX top trim level. So, yeah, there it is. It, it's not bad looking. I mean, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. You might want to get a Honda Odyssey or something like that. 
but which I did do a build and price of that as well. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, but I, I still think it's better than a Grand Caravan, but I've done those as well. So on that note, I guess I have neither here nor there on this vehicle. It's just I, you know, it's I, it's neither here nor there. It is what it is. It's a people mover. It's a family vehicle. I mean, how exciting is it going to be if, if you don't want to spend a lot of money? So yeah, there it is. It's affordable. It's a brand new car. At the end of the day, why complain? If you can get a brand new car, you're fortunate one way or the other, whatever it is. Okay, so on that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2020 Chrysler Voyager 7-passenger minivan helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.